Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Hi guys and welcome to another Fool of the Week. Well, this week's Fool is not a person, but an organisation, GB News. So where to start? GB News has had it rough from the very start. The news channel that was led by conservative journalist Andrew Neil, someone who promised it would be woke-free and a voice against Ramoners. However, it seems the show is somewhat of a slow train wreck. Even though it was generously funded by foreign investors, it appeared to have the production values of a channel like mine. Lighting, audio and even visuals were all over the place. Things seemed to have got so bad that it was alleged that Andrew Neil himself got upset and just left. GB News has hinted that he will be back, but broadcasting from his home in France. Nothing says anti-EU Brexiteer like broadcasting from your French mansion. Anyway, the slow car crash seems to have sped up this week with what has been happening with the football. GB News prides itself on being anti-woke, but the problem with that is that it has been difficult to differentiate between anti-wokeness and racism. The channel also claims to be a bastion for free speech. So when one of the commentators decided to speak out against racism by taking a knee, it caused a storm on social media. The problem was that racists and bigots online considered taking the knee being woke, so they boycotted the channel. TV ratings dropped to zero, yes, zero for some segments. The channel then attempted to fix the problem, claiming that the commentator had broken the rules. But if he was expressing himself, surely the viewers would respect his freedom to express himself? Of course not. The right wing will pretend to care about free speech only as long as it's in accordance with things they like. When someone expresses themselves on something that they don't, then they are happy to have that person cancelled. So will GB News recover from this? It's hard to see them doing so as they have pissed off their viewership. Andrew Neil may be brought back in an attempt to do some backpedaling, but it may be too little too late. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this, and I'll see you next time for our next Fool of the Week. I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons. You ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats, you can chat with me and other patrons where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee, so why not check it out?